What's up, Twitch? This is my first time actually doing this. Right now, right now I plan to read a live reaction of Kingdom Chapter 672. Well, let's get started. Uh, currently, Say has called some of the five of the six generals to bring back the system of the great general class. And right now he's about to mention the last great general, which no one knows about right now. All right, I'm seeing Roku on me. And now Hecky, a lot of people would believe it was Hecky. Knew it. It's going to be left vacant because no one deserves that spot. All right. <laughs> Hara Sensei would have been a major troll if he let Hecky be that. <laughs> you got Roku on me yawning. Hecky pissing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is shocked, vacant, mobile, unamused, toe being toe. <laughs> Same with Osin and Kanki. <laughs> Yo, Tama, are there any suitable candidates? That's no sin, no suitable candidates. That's right, from Say. It's an absolute requirement of the six greats, prowess of the battlefield. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any others on the same level as these five. In that case, from Kanki, what's wrong with just keeping it at five generals? Kanki from Shobun Kun, he hates him so much. <laughs> Say, no, we all need six, just like during King Shell's reign. Dang, Say is trying to go hard as king. We see like a image of the former six great generals. While the former six great generals fought their battles independently, they always knew the others had their backs. That's why they were so powerful. When all six were together, Ken's power was overwhelming. Allowing us to claim territory without pause. Conky, why don't you make seven or eight great generals while you're at it then? Right, Olsen? Olsen has no comment. <laughs> Shobu Kun is really frustrated. Conky, know your place. The rest of the officials just in shock, sweating. <laughs> Olsen, no. Having too many greats could create unrest in the lower ranks. And then the edge we obtain by quick decision making would be lost. And then freaking Conky, Toe, and who's that? Yotama looking at Osen just from his wise reaction. The way China is now, six people is optimal. That's correct. Steps in. Shohei Kun. A lot of people saw, um, thought he was going to be one. Without doubt, the six great systems' greatest weapon is speed. So keeping it at six is the best decision, is what everyone's thinking. From this point on, we further intensify our invasion. The enemy nations will act. Okay. They'll desperately try to seal the openings in their borders. Even if they lose territory, they have numbers. They'll just keep throwing more and more soldiers at us to stall. It's a contest between their cover speed and our invasion speed. So six is the lowest amount that can go, but also the highest they want to keep for speed. To ensure our victory, our generals can't be kept waiting for orders. They must make quick decisions on the battlefield as the war evolves. So I'm feeling that that vacant spot is obviously going to be left for like Shin, Ohon, Moten, Irving, Kyokai. They're the furthest right now. As far as we know, we don't know about any unnamed generals in Shin, which is kind of sad. Because when you look at Zhao or Zhao or Chu, they just got generals coming out left and right no matter how many times you destroy them. And they're all the same caliber, top tier. So that vacant spot is obviously for one of those four up and coming generals. That's here's Toe. That's the right to freely wage war, and that's the right to freely wage war, rage, wage war. Right. We'll use speed and decisiveness to surpass our enemies' recovery power and pierce their hearts. Say. With the six great generals in place, we will destroy the six kingdoms. It will also proclaim to the other countries that Chen has set their course for the unification of China. Even though y'all already did that a long time ago. <laughs> and it's having just the up, just a complete silence. Everyone's like, oh, and then a huge upward. Oh, <laughs> you got conky. That idiot Shin was right. We're really going to wreck other states. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo, things are getting interesting. However, I must tell you this, Shobun Kun. We've granted you the right to freely wage war, but that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. He knows how, how Kanki be acting. Kanki will kill, maim, torture, pillage, 
He's a bandit. He's a bandit king. He'll do anything to get the dub. And they ain't liking that. Massacring or committing any atrocities against civilians is absolutely forbidden. Okay, so this is the answer a lot of people wanted. How they react towards putting Conky as a great general. <laughs> and Conky's like, why are you looking at me, Prime Minister? <laughs> like, you didn't just commit that horrible act against uh, Kiswin, uh, Kiswin and Keisha just to beat them. <laughs> And obviously, revolt is not allowed either. Understood? <laughs> Kaki just laugh about it. Close. Come on, Olsen. Olsen's even giving like a sour face. So, were you not? If someone violates those rules, I would rally the generals and obliterate the offenders. But of course. So, spoiler, spoiler. I've been around the Kingdom YouTube community. Of when Kingdom was bringing brought to the YouTube by reactors like George Shea and then he's got um, King of Lightning involved. And there's this really good reviewer who stopped uh, Malazzo. And another reviewer that does it is Commodore Laz. But anyways, when they were all doing it, it was kind of a spoiler that Conky was going to lose. We don't know how. Obviously, you can read um, history. This manga is based off history. The author changes it here and there, things. I don't look at the history, but it was split. There was just a lot of spoilers in the beginning of this community. So I just wanted to put that out there. I already expect Conky to lose. We've got um, foreshadowing it with um, after his fight with um, Keisha and Kisui, um, where Boku watched the whole battlefield and he says he now knows Conky's weakness, which could be. I see it as he's just not a general, you know? You look at this manga and um, the best generals are able to rally the troops. Conky's army isn't an army. It's just a band of bandits. They're just here to rape, pillage, rape, pillage, have fun, do whatever. And he may be a warfare a genius at warfare, like stated by uh, many strategists or many generals, especially the general who's under Mogu. And um, one of the general four heavenly pillars of Renpa, the old man. But yeah, that's just his major weakness. You can say he plays the man and like will sacrifice something great to get something greater, which is shown many times, but Conky's just not a general. Look at every other general. They're able to rally their troops, bring morale. And we saw a hint of that. We're um, going back against the Battle of Kokyo Hills with versus Kisui and Keisha. Um, I forget the girl's name, his female commander. Oh, I'm reading Kingdom, my bad. Nice to see some viewers. I'm reading um, Kingdom. Right now, I'm just rambling on. No, I don't smoke. You have to check it out. The Manga Kingdom, if you're interested in that. And so, yeah, um, his female commander, she was mad that she took the hills, but Conky never made a move after that. And he was even telling me, we're not even an army. Don't get mad at this. This is not what we do and how we do it. And like, that's just a big weakness right there. They're not an army. They just do whatever they want. All right, back to reading. Toe talking about he'll gather everyone to defeat the generals if there is, um, if there is revolt. <laughs> You know, Tom was just agreeing. Ocean just got that eye. And Cocky's like, hmm. All those officials sweating. King say, I'm grateful for that statement, General Toe. I've heard the former six great generals had underlying, undying loyalty to their ruler, King Show. And you see Toe's former general, Oki. <laughs> I don't think the five of you hold the same loyalty to me. Okay. However, I believe you will all be as formidable in battle as the six greats of the past. And I also believe before long, a sixth great will be born who will fight alongside you. And it, it cuts to Moten, Ohon, Shin. <laughs> Can't forget Kyokai. But they didn't show her. Shobun-kun, Yotanwa, Toe, just all staring. Ko -ko -ko. <laughs> Shobun Kun, bring it in. S S Sire. Okay. 
I'm not sure if this was Unix or just whatever. In times of land, in times of legend, one of the five emperors, Singyoku, had a granddaughter. While she was le weaving a loom outside, a swallow flew near her and dropped an egg. She swallowed the egg and became pregnant and gave birth to a boy named Taigyo. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> she got some crazy uh, design. Like she was possessed, like uh, some curse mark. Isn't that the forefather of Chin? Huh? What? The swallow was a divine messenger. And so the birth of Chin is divine. Is divine will in nature. Okay. Oh, uh, and it just has like this beautiful swallow, like a treasure of it. I don't know what color it is. I had a statue of that divine swallow with six golden wings created, hence the six golden generals. Oh, he's like plucking apart the wings. They're like tied to chain. The protection of our ancestral spirits were channeled into this. These of the Kenan Shrine in the former capital, Yu, or Yang in Mandarin. I entrust this symbol of the six great generals to you. I'm not giving these to you. I'm entrusting you with them until your service comes to an end. <laughs> you know, Conky ain't going to keep that for long. Hey, by the way, Conky is my favorite general. Even though he has some crazy ways. Concrete Estates is no simple feat. <laughs> Yotama Yo gracefully puts hers on. From the moment on, from this moment on, you six will probably face more pain in battle than anyone else. Look at Mobu, this stronghold. <laughs> Always got that mean scowl with his veins popping out. <laughs> Toll is just a master troll. Olsen, this blank can't read him. Yotama just got that little smirk. Even so, not one of you will falter. You will conquer the six kingdoms and return these golden wings to me. Anyway, so back to what I was spoiling about Conky. Because we don't know how he's going to lose by expecting to lose. Yes, they all agree. And that's just the end of the chapter. I'm not sure if a new chapter is coming Friday or maybe Sunday. But I'll be looking forward to that. For right now... I'll go ramble on some more. Okay, so that was my first live reaction. I kind of liked it. What I plan to do is do more. I know my lighting isn't well. My reading can get a lot better. But this is actually fun. I did not expect myself to do this before. So Kingdom 672. It's just the informational chapter. Not really that much going on. I didn't think we would have a general. Out of the options, people were thinking Heki, Shohei-kun. Who, who else? A random soldier, which doesn't make sense. Because why did that soldier ever appear during the coalition? And you can lie and say, oh, they were needed elsewhere. Kind of like um, in Zao, where they got these many soldier, uh, generals just hiding out. Like, um... Uh, Shiba show, but I'm talking about he's just in the city because he don't like leaving. But, uh, yeah, that one's not likely. So it was either Heki, Shohei Kun, or it should have been vacant and they left it vacant. So I like that idea. A lot of people are choosing Heki and Shohei Kun. <laughs> okay, but, um, I'm gonna end this. And now I'm going to come back and do a live reaction of Jujutsu Kaisen because I haven't read it before. And that's one of the, be the series I guess I'm going to try out. But Kingdom is definitely going to be one of my main series of reviews on here. Alright. Thank you for whoever came in and this one viewer. Appreciate it. I'm going to come back for Jujutsu Kaisen. Thank you all.